Kill me once and for all. My father won't let this slide. No matter where you hide, he will hunt you down and get you for this. Shut up! Smart ass. You shouldn't talk back to your elders. This Fosto sure is stupid. Sending his sons out into the world, leaving others to educate them. Perhaps, perhaps I'll stop answering back. But you guys will always be cowards! <laughs> Let me defend myself! I bet you this clown would stop laughing then. Cowards! Hey boss. I think that's enough. Who does Dad want to punish? Because between us, he's the only one who has that power. Octavia, please, keep Julia here. Let Sebastian, what happened? You as well? Let Sebastian do what he has to do, Julia. Sit down. You know how your dad is. He's taking measures to teach that young Aragon boy an important lesson. He is just looking for an excuse to hurt anyone that belongs to that crazy family. I've never even met that guy, Octavia. Sweetheart, you never suspected anything strange about that young man who approached with the flower shop? Jose Antonio. What's going on with him? <sighs> he lied to you, Julia. He is Fausto's youngest son your father's enemy. And his real name is Gregory Aragon, not Jose Antonio. He is the one that came looking for you. No, that cannot be true. Octavia, please tell me that you are joking around with me. Oh, I have something for you, and I am going to eat it right off of your belly without using my hands. Thank you. I'll eat them later. Well then, what news did you bring me from Masquerade? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not until you tell me when and how much you will be transferring into my account for the information. Oh, I will make sure the money is transferred today. And don't worry about the amount, because it will be enough to make you want to see me again and again. Mm, that's what I'm counting on. Julia is currently working on a new makeup line for young ladies. Between 15 and 17. It's gonna be a hit. Very well. And do they have a color scheme picked out yet? Yes, of course. I'll make sure you have it by the end of this week. You know, we should conduct these business meetings at least once a week. Mmm. Why not make it twice? What did Camila say, Sheila? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> you know, if I'd have known that I didn't have to scratch your neck with my nails to keep your mouth shut, I would have told you what I thought of you to your face a long time ago. That's enough, Sheila, that's enough. Don't believe anything she says, because Camila, as usual, is mad and came to take it out on you. Oh, Sheila. I'm going to kill you. Oh, I'm gonna stick your face in a punch bowl filled with acid and I'm going to peel your skin as if you were a chicken. It won't be today, nor tomorrow, but just you watch out. You better be careful because I'm going to disfigure your face with a rusty potato peeler. Okay then, bring it. This time I'm not gonna yank your hair out. Instead, I'll just drop one of those age bombs I just said. <laughs> Camilla. Shut up. Let's go outside. Oh, hold on, Shelly. I just want to laugh for a little while. I want to laugh because you don't see this happen every day. Let's go. Let's go outside, Camilla. Enough! Just to make sure this idiot understood, you should whip him once more, Ezekiel. So he doesn't ever think of coming around here again and much less come around my fiance. Because next time, we won't be using a belt, but rather a gun, imbecile. Enough, Dad! Enough! What on earth are you doing? What kind of atrocity is this, Dad? This is the man you want for Julia? This is the guy who is going to marry her, Dad. Let me tell you this, I don't want a coward for a brother-in-law. You better stay out of this, because that Cretan you see there, he was lying to Julia. He made a fool out of her. Yes. Yes, so? That could have happened. He might have fooled her, yes. But that does not justify three men, three adults, 
kidnapped him, tied him and beat him up this way? For the love of God, don't you see that Gregory is just a kid? Look, I told you from the beginning. If you're not going to help, then stay out of the way. Don't think that just because you wear a skirt now and are protected by the man upstairs, don't you think for a second that I can't whip you like I did when you were a little kid? Yeah? Do it. Do it. Do it now! Come on! Whack me while you have the belt in your hand. Come on! Come on, go ahead, show me the type of animal I think you are. Come on, come on. I hope that you learned your lesson very well, silly boy, and that I don't have to repeat it. Javier, I need your computer right now. What's wrong? Why are you like this, Julia? There must be something on social media, something posted, something that'll tell me. Why didn't I look for you before on social media when I first met you? Well, tell me what you need and I'll help you find it. Tell me, come on. You remember my friend Jose Antonio? Yes. They are telling me that is not his name. That his name is really Gregory Aragon. Octavia said that dad was going to hurt him and Sebastian went to stop dad. Jose Antonio, for the love of God, where are you? Where? <laughs> oh no, 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 no! There were millions, but not the one I'm looking for. Look who does pop up. Gregory Aragon. But, but that's a private profile that only has a dog's picture. Oh dear God, please don't let my father be right. Please don't let them be the same person. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to Sheila? Oh, it felt great to shut her up. <laughs> oh, finally, after everything she's done to me, after everything I've been through, I needed to laugh a little, Shelly. So look, how do you feel? Are you convinced yet that that lady is not coming back? That lady is not coming back, Shelly. Why would she return if she's not my mother? Hmm? but I cannot let this get me down. No, I have to stay strong. What do I have left, hmm? And I will always be by your side, little sis. Always accompanying you. Hmm, you're so sweet. <laughs> of course you will. Gregory, let me help you. <clears throat> Don't touch me. I can do this. Gregory, I can understand you're upset, upset? but it's not upset these goods come over kidnap me tie me up like an animal and beat me up like in the times of slavery yeah maybe that upset me a little i'm furious i want to go to your father's office and kill him with my own two hands i'm full of rage hate and fury but of course you don't understand any of that you are a priest all you know about is love, forgiveness, peace, and turning the other cheek. No, Gregory. Just because I'm a priest doesn't mean I don't feel and react like a man. That is the reason I understand your anger. I understand your rage. But here's a piece of advice. Don't fill yourself with hate. For what, huh? For what, your sister's love? <laughs> How ironic that it is you who gives me this piece of advice. You, who chose to run away like a coward, instead of fighting for the love of my sister! They told me I could find you here. That little boy? Gregory Aragon de la Rosa will never bother you again. But I don't know anyone with that name. Hmm. Well then, look at these images and tell me if you still don't know someone that goes by that name. Oh, oh God, is he okay? Dad should have killed him while he had him. Ezekiel simply gave him the lesson he deserved. I wanted to save you from this moment, Julia. I told you, but you didn't listen. Gregory simply used you to gain information about Masquerade. And who do you think you are? My hero? 
No. It just hurts me to know they use you. Because I care about you very much, Julia. Besides, that kid is an Aragon. I'm sure this is part of their vengeance. Listen, I'm sure his dad is the one who sent him to you. Celso might be right, Julia. Not until I hear from him with my own ears, I won't believe what either of you have to say. Is that you, Gregory? We're having dinner soon, you hear? What's wrong? Why are you walking like that? No reason. I'm not hungry. What do you mean that you're not hungry, my love? Since you've been back home, all you've done is eat. Look, brother. <sighs> what? What's wrong with your back? No, leave him, leave Frederick, alone. if Gregory leave alone. doesn't want to. What's wrong? So this is what you wanted to hide, huh? Look, look at this, Mom! Oh, my son. Who could have done this to you? Did Ezekiel do this to you, huh? It's because I dated his daughter. He's an animal. That man is filled with hate. You were just a kid who fell in love. I knew I had to keep you far away from this view. Gregory, why did you come back? I love her, Mom. I swear, I did not mean to fool her or laugh at her. Please, don't say anything to our father. No, 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 no. This is not over. No one does this to an Aragon and carries on peacefully. Oh, shut up, Frederick. I'm tired of all of this. I'm going to do the impossible and put an end to this crazy family feud once and for all. Can you guys imagine what they made me do? I was sitting in my office, working for you guys, my sons, and then along comes this Aragon kid to take advantage of my daughter and myself. What comes next? I had to react. I didn't want to, but I had to. I think I would have done the same thing, Dad. Yeah, sure. You would have beaten Gregory up so bad that you would have torn his skin off his back with your own belt? How low? How low can you go? Would you have done the same thing? Sebastian, if Dad gave him a whipping, it's because he got involved with Julia and he deserved it, am I right? He just told me one lie. That was all he did. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's eat in peace, okay? No way. Because it turns out that rotten Aragon de la Rosa was courting my little princess. He was dating my princess using another name. He was at the office. He was here at our house to continue fooling her, to continue ridiculing her, and at the same time ridiculing <laughs> all of you as well, and I won't stand for that. Stop it, father! Stop planting hate and anger in my brother! Nobody yells more in this house than I do, you hear me? Hate and anger is what the Aragon de la Rosa's expressed when they dared to shoot Javier. Cowardice, when they suddenly beat up Leandro. So what would you, Holy Father, want us to do? To turn the other cheek? Not a chance. None of my children have to suffer the consequences, much less my daughter. And if you're not gonna be man enough, to defend our honor, well, your brothers and I are. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly! Hey! Shelly, give me you your know, hands. Shelly, you know I let you paint my nails because if not, you would never stop nagging me. Besides, I only use lipstick every now and then, and that's as a joke. <laughs> I do this so you feel prettier, and so you get happier, and to get rid of your sadness. Uh, uh, Tell me something, Shelly. What do my nails have to do with sadness or me feeling prettier? Besides, with all the work that I have, carrying and sending boxes, these pretty nails are gonna chip, crack, and probably fall right off. <laughs> Don't exaggerate. <laughs> Sister, I'm so glad you came by. Tell Camilla her nails look amazing. Her nails? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, 
beautiful. <laughs> Stunning, sweetheart. Camilla is always beautiful. Mm. Unless you use those hands to go and beat someone up. <laughs> well. Oh, carry on, carry on. How are you feeling, sweetie? How have you been? Mm. Well, I feel like an expired lottery ticket. So they mm. played me and they took me for a fool. But still, I'm not going to keep complaining about that. My eyes are going to wash from my face from crying so much. Hmm. You understand now, hon? Hmm? You understand now, my child, why I always told you not to look for your mom? That's why I insisted. Sister, you know I'm not like that. I won't let a little stone get in my way that easily. I told you, if that imposter wasn't my mother, then now I really want to find my real mother. All the more so. Marcelina! Look what I brought for you. I oh. picked them out especially for you. <laughs> oh, but this looks delicious. I'm so hungry I could eat anything right now. Oh, Astrid, thank you. It's a delicate surprise, just like you. <laughs> Come, sit with us. Doris, please serve Astrid a plate. Okay, but I will have to warm up the food again first. Uh, don't worry, Doris. I'll eat it like that. <clears throat> well, I'm done eating, so I will leave you two alone. <clears throat> Mom, I'm going out, okay? Okay, my son. <sighs> He's probably going to see her. It breaks my heart to see him like this, Marcelina. In love with that woman that you know is taking advantage of him. Darling, I know my son very well. I know that little girl is just a passing phase. You'll see that in the near future, he will realize that the woman he needs in his life is you. But how is he going to realize that? You tell me how, if all he does is ignore me. I try to be sweet and special with him, but he doesn't even notice. You have to have patience. There's no love stronger than the one you plant and cultivate with time, patience, and dedication. That's what makes long-lasting relationships. Just look at Ezekiel and me. So many years together, building a life together, loving each other. Believe me, a love like that is indestructible. What's the matter? Why is there sadness on your face? Uh, Ezekiel discovered that Gregory was dating his daughter, Julia. Where is he? Did they kill him? Oh, for God's sake, Fausto. No, but this family feud has now affected poor Gregory, and they whipped him with a belt. Well, who does, he, who does that piece of trash think he is attacking one of us? He's done it again, what he did to me. This situation cannot be ignored, Uncle. I want to talk to Gregory. Don't do anything to him, Fausto. Ezekiel has done more than enough. Gregory! Gregory! Come here. Show me what they did to you. You're not getting away with this one, Ezekiel. You better watch your back, because I'm going to destroy your family. Stop your crying. Nobody has died here. Ezekiel, please. She's in love. Well, she better stop. Sure. As if it was so easy. When one loves, one loves forever. Didn't you do it? Or no? You were in love with Amelia Aragon. You joined the priesthood and suddenly stopped loving her. Unless you're lying to us and you are still in love. No. No, of course not. Please, Dad. Let me talk with Jose Antonio, please. What are you going to talk about with that imbecile, Julia? Don't you see he came to this house to fool all of us? He was only dating you so he could hurt you. Jose Antonio doesn't exist. He never did exist. Only Gregory Aragon. Okay, whatever! I don't care. The only thing I want right now is to talk to him. You are not talking to anyone. And tomorrow morning, you will be leaving that college and finding another one. I want you miles away from that boy. You hear? 
And when you get over all of this, you will give an opportunity to sell so. You come here acting like a hero, saying you will fight for your daughter's happiness, but in reality, it's you who disrespects her. Practically selling your daughter to another man. I know what I'm about to say. It's a sin, Father. But today, more than ever, I hate you. I hate you! <laughs> okay, sweetie. If what you want is to keep looking for your mother, all right then. I am going to help you. Oh, uh, sister. Uh, Camilla, uh, be uh, careful uh, your nails could stain, Sister Isabel. Ugh, oh, you see why I don't like this, Shelly? Uh, that is why some women, while waiting for their nails to dry, end up drying up their brains. <laughs> <laughs> well, my girls, I'm gonna go. No, sister, why don't you stay a little longer with us and have a cup of tea? Good evening. If you want, I can talk to Paula so she can rent you a room here, because you always seem to be hanging around here. What do you want? You don't have to be so rude, Camilla, huh? I tried putting myself in your shoes and imagining what you must be feeling. That's why I'm here, to be by your side. Uh. And what do you think Shelly and Sister Isabel are doing here? You think they're just flies on the wall? Oh, Camilla, excuse me. Max, Max, my son, I think it is a great idea that you decided to come. Come in, come in, sit down, have a cup of tea with us. Run along, girls, and get him some tea, won't you? Go on. <laughs> Thank you. Max, I'm so glad you came. I need your help, my son. I need you to help me to convince her. Camilla has to stop looking for her mother. I beg of you. She doesn't know it, Max, but Camilla is in a lot of danger. Why is Camilla at risk for looking for her mom? Because there are a lot of people that do not want Rosa Blanco to be found, and they will do whatever it takes to keep her hidden for good. Oh, but, uh, but you know where she is. You know who she is. You must explain, sister, because I can't just all of the sudden ask Camilla to stop looking for her mother, because that's exactly what she wants most in this world. Oh, I can't explain anything here, Max. The important thing is for Camilla not to know. Hmm. The situation with Rosa Blanco is much more serious than you all can imagine. Ah. My girl is at great risk. <laughs> Where are the plates? <laughs> what happened? Why are you all so quiet? <laughs> you were talking about me, weren't you? <laughs> of course we were, darling. I am the one that should have given you that beating to have kept you away from that spoiled little brat. I'd give you a beating myself, but I'm not going to remind you of the ridiculous pain you received from that asinine barbarian who put his hands on you. No, Dad. This is all that floozy's fault. Our Gregory is an adult. That old man should put that girl on a leash. Fausto, you will not take revenge. None of you boys will. Well, Auntie, what's wrong with you? Doesn't it hurt you to see what they've done to Gregory? It makes my stomach turn inside out, and it makes me want to go kill those bastards right now. Ezekiel's going to pay for this, and I know how. I want you to find that girl. She's in for quite a surprise. You are not going to hurt Julia. No one is going to lay a single hand on her. I totally agree with Gregory. At least someone in this family has a noble heart. Are you okay, Gregory? I'm okay. And that is thanks to Sebastian. If it wasn't for him coming in and stopping them, then they would have beaten me to death for sure. At some point, you will have to stop all this. Yes. When Fausto Aragon is dead and buried. In the meantime, we have to be very careful. Because Fausto is going to want vengeance for the lesson I gave his spoiled kid. So that means you, Leandro, will watch over Julia. And if you see something, you tell Santiago. Okay. Javier, I want you to be more alert than ever. I don't want you to leave room for any more loopholes. And you, 
you must be careful. That pretty little skirt won't make you safe. Fausto's capable of anything. Forgiveness is the only path to end this war once and for all. You'll have to forgive me, brother, but they actually shot me. Believe me, I'm not feeling very forgiving, per se. Neither am I, Sebastian. Marcos and Roger kidnapped me, then beat me up bad. Let someone else forgive them, I won't. Listen to yourselves. Don't you realize how full of hate you are? That is what our father wants, to fill your heads with stupid hate so you will go and fight his battles. You guys are so blind. That's enough now. Don't fight with each other. Isn't it enough we are fighting against the Aragons? Hmm. <clears throat> that is the best thing you've said all night. So then, can we peacefully sit down for dinner? Well then, <laughs> good night to you all. I have to leave now. May God bless you. Be good. Amen. 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 Should I walk you, sister? Yes, thank you. So then, are you going to keep looking for your mom? Of course. Well, you can count on me, if you want. If I don't want to? Max, it's better you mind your own business. Look, what's going on in your brain's always mixed like a tossed salad, and you're confusing things. I want us to be... Just to be like good friends. But you always start misunderstanding and imagining Because things. I just want a nice relationship with you. I want to see you happy and smiling. You know what I would like? To see you in love. Because if you are so beautiful when you scream and insult people, I can only imagine how you would look if you were in love. But it's your choice. If you want to keep looking for your mother, then I'll be the first to start looking. Deal? I don't know how else to tell you no. Is it possible that we don't speak the same language? Or maybe you just might have earplugs in? Max, I cannot and I will not fall in love with you or anyone else. I have nothing against you. I just can't, not anyone. And don't ask me why. Just glue your lips together and try to understand when I say that I cannot. Come on, son. I won't let you face your father right now, okay? Mom, you need to stop treating me like a child. What do you plan on doing, Dad? He wants us to bring him to Julia. Roger and Marcos are taking care of that. Are you going to do the same thing to her? I would really like to, but I'm not a coward like Ezekiel. I want her in front of me. You got it, Uncle. You all disgust me when you get in this wannabe gangster attitude. You know very well that I will have nothing to do with this, Dad. Amelia! If you go opening your mouth to that little priest about anything we've discussed, I'm warning you that I will not show him an ounce of respect as I break his face without showing him any remorse. Understood? Guess what, Max? I think Paula's starting to like you. She asked me to offer you some cake. You hungry? No, thank you, Shelley. I have to go now. But tell Paula to save it for me. Because she is going to keep seeing me around here. Like this. You see? That's how I say bye. Learn it. Like this? Very good. Shelley? Why did you do that? I feel so bad for Max. You feel bad? I am just protecting my body, my soul, and my heart. I have been hurt and my heart has been like a punching bag. I can't and I don't want to keep suffering. You always exaggerate, Camilla. Are you really gonna suffer from a harmless kiss on the cheek? Uh, don't you see, Shelly, that I'm already suffering? Camilla, if you're suffering, it's because you're in love. <laughs> you wouldn't suffer like this if you didn't feel something for I am someone. not in love, Shelly. I cannot and I do not want to be in love. But I do, I do feel something for him, okay? There you go, now you know, so quit bothering me. Good morning, how can I help you? I am here to speak with Ezequiel Lopez Mendez. My name is Patricia Aragon.
Miss Octavia, they're calling from reception. Miss Patricia Aragon is downstairs and wants to talk with Mr. Ezekiel. Well, I'm sorry, Ezekiel has not arrived yet. Should I just tell her to leave a message? No. I will tell her myself. Okay. Octavia, how is Julia? How was she feeling? And how do you think she is after what happened to her, Celso? I want to talk with her. Listen, Celso, I don't think it's the best time for you to get close to her. So I think it's best for you to leave her alone. Excuse me, I have a meeting. Please pick up the phone. I don't know who it is. What's wrong, Julia? Is it that guy again? Mm hmm Julia, listen to me. It's best for you not to see him. Don't complicate things anymore. Please. Please stop ignoring my calls and answer the phone, Julia. Please. You already know everything about me. Do you know Ezekiel's daughter? Mm. No, not really, brother. And by Gregory's face, I don't think she wants to see him ever again. Well, if my cousin really is so in love, he will not rest until he sees her. So we just sit back, wait, and then attack. Very well, kids. You have a 15-minute recess. <laughs> Sister Adalia, those kids sure are adorable. I have never understood how there could be parents so heartless that they actually abandon their very own children. The reality is really hard. I've been here a long time, and I can't help it, but I feel the same pain every time a new infant is dropped off. Come play with us, Father! <laughs> okay, then let's play. I should have known that that coward Ezekiel would have sent his very own lover to defend him. Ezekiel's not here, but I am here, and I have been like a mother to Julia. And be careful what you say, Patricia, because you are not a caprice. Okay then, from mother to mother, if you call it that, I am here to protest what you did to my son Gregory. It's an inhumane act, totally out of proportion. Hmm. And what Gregory did to Julia, and what is that called? Hmm? He made her fall in love with him knowing she's a Lopez Mendez. He lied, and he used her. He made a fool of her, her brothers, her father. In just a few words, he deliberately broke her precious heart in cold Gregory blood. Gregory is not. He is not like that. He is not like yours, who are filled with anger and hate. Gregory is an innocent boy, and if he says that he fell in love with Julia, then that's what happened. He honestly fell in love for real. It's best if you leave, Patricia. And you should thank God your son is still alive and breathing. So stop feeling the fire and get out of here now. And do you think I'm going to just leave and forget all of this? Well, you have no idea what I'm capable of when it comes to my kids. Now you will know what an upset mother is capable of. Camilla, I'm so glad I found you right now. I have to talk to you for a minute. It'll be quick. Don't worry, it won't take long. Come on. It's about your relationship with Max. Me? I don't have anything with him. <gasps> hey. Hey, oh please, my friend. <laughs> oh, okay then. You want me to believe that a man like Max is going to go to that horrible and dangerous place where you live? Only because you're friends? Hmm? <laughs> okay, well, I don't understand. What is it you want me to tell you? Tell me then. You keep beating around the bush. Why not just come out and say whatever you want to say? Hmm? Camilla, my intentions here are not to make you feel uncomfortable. I swear. But Max's mom asked me to talk to you. She's very worried about him. And why is that? Yes, she's very worried that you're with him solely for his money. Me? No, 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 no. I am not with Max or with any other man. And another thing, I do not need anyone else's money. I make my own money working very hard. Camilla. Camilla, please understand. It's her only son. You know what? Tell that lady she can go wrap her son up in a lot of hundred dollar bills and give him to whomever she wants if that makes her happy. In fact, I will go tell her myself. When I finish my deliveries, I will head over there. No, 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 no. Let me talk to her first. No, no, so... no, there's no way. 
I don't need middlemen. I like to handle my own issues face to face and on my own. You look like you're a smart and intelligent woman, Patricia. So don't prove me wrong and just leave my building. I am not afraid of your threats. Nor I of yours. So then why are you here? I demand respect for my sons and nephews, for you to leave them alone. You want us to respect the same guys that shot Javier and beat up Leandro? How dare you? Why didn't you ask your son to respect Julia, huh? Not to make a fool of her? I'm sorry, Patricia, but that is something you must earn, and neither you nor your family has earned our respect. So then that is what you want, for us to continue fighting all of our lives until one of the two families is completely extinct. By the way things are looking, the family that's going to be extinct is yours, Patricia. I don't... I don't know why, nor do I care why you came here. But it's not a good idea to be near the wolves' den, especially when the wolves are hungry and upset. Like I told you, Patricia, leave before things get even worse. I am not afraid of you, Ezekiel. When you are a mother, fear subsides. You brutally beat up my son, and I will file a report with the police. I have proof. I have the reports from the security people who saw you come in and out of here, and of course, Gregory's testimony. I may not know how to fire a gun, but I know the laws and the legal rights that we have, and this, this is not looking good for any of you. Do whatever you please, but get out of my office before I have you kicked out. I didn't see you get here, Amelia. Will you join us? I did not come to play, Sebastian. Especially when your father nearly whipped my brother Gregory to death. Amelia, we must put an end to this feud. I will do all that is in my power so there is no more bloodshed. But we shouldn't do this together. But, but why do you say that? What happened to Gregory has really affected me. I love him more than anything. But I haven't been thinking clearly because you're always crossing my mind. Amelia, listen, please, I am... I realize you are the biggest mistake I'm making in my life, and I came here to tell you myself. Because to me, these feelings should only be said face to face. Pick up, Julia. I'm not gonna stop calling you. Let me get it, Leandro. I promise you nothing will happen. I will just get this out of the way, okay? Okay, Julia. What do you want, Gregory Aragon? Thank you for answering. I know everything. Give me a chance to explain everything in person. I have to explain things to you. I'm at school. Tell me where you are, and I'll go by. I'm also at school. Meet me at the concrete bench? No one will bother us. Okay. See you there in a bit. What are you going to do? I'm going to see him, Leandro. Oh, Julia, please. And you are going to stay put. I'm going alone. Please don't fight me over this right now, brother. I know what I have to do. Please, you must trust me. That is all, Sonia. Register those documents and uh, no phone calls. No phone calls, OK? <clears throat> Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Arigato. Arigato. This way, please. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me the interruption, but since you said it was important that I should come over right away, here I am. What's up? Did you get the picture? Yes, of course. Here, here it is. I have it. What happened? Did you find out anything else? No. But what we are going to do is start a brand new search for your mother, and we're going to do it based on clues. This picture is a clue. This house and this girl are a clue. You remember it just like your Aunt Elizabeth. Let's start with that. We must find Elizabeth Blanco. What happened? 
Did I say something wrong? <laughs> you must be an alien or something. You are the only man I've ever met that after so many rejections, you are still here, wanting to help me. Because I'm the only man who has ever truly loved you. Max, my office now. Something happened. Wait here. Why did you do it? Would you have given me the opportunity to get to know you and love you if you knew that I was an Aragon? You're an idiot! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I know that I lied to you, but when I saw you at the flower shop, my world turned around. How could I let a moment to love you pass me by? You know it was magical. There were no words to explain it. It just happened to us. And because of our families, we're not going to separate, especially for a feud that doesn't involve us. If you would have told me the truth, you would have given me the opportunity to choose if I wanted to get to know you or not. But instead, you made oh, me- in love like me? I swear I did not want to hurt you, Julia. I swear to you, I wanted to tell you the truth today, but they kidnapped me and beat me up. You deserved it. That won't make me leave you. You know, I thought that I was going to be able to brag to the world that this love at first sight thing really exists. But it doesn't. Because you planned everything from the very beginning. What was it you wanted, huh? To make me feel like an idiot? And make fun of me and my family? No, 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 don't say that. But that's exactly what you did! And that beating that my dad gave you is only the beginning of what my family wants to do to you! That feeling that you have? I have it as well. And I will run the risk of them trying to kill me, but I will never give you up. <sighs> Amelia, are you being serious? You really don't want to see me anymore? Yes. Having you near is hurting me. And you don't even understand what's going on with me. Amelia, I thought our relationship was perfectly clear. Liar. You are so self-centered. <sighs> don't you realize I look for any excuse to see you and just humiliate myself since I know nothing will happen between us? Or are you willing to leave the priesthood for me? Just tell me, Sebastian, if you just give me the slightest sign of hope that you will leave the priesthood, I swear I'll wait for you. What happened? That kid that's been spending all that time with Julia? The one that she brought here? Well, it turns out that it's Gregory Aragon, Fosto's youngest son. So what did you do this time, Dad? I did what any father would do to defend his daughter's honor. Because it turns out that that little piece of trash was making a fool of her. So I gave him a good whipping so he would learn to respect the Lopez Mendez family. Something I didn't agree with at all? Because I knew it would cause us legal problems. It turns out Patricia Aragon came to threaten me, saying she was going to talk with the police. Here is where you come into the story. As a lawyer, I need you to get ahead of her. Hey, you! Are you listening to me? No. This can't be. Who gave you this picture? The mourner sent it. Why? This is over, Gregory. In fact, it never occurred. Because I fell in love with Antonio it's still Perez! Me. I'm the same person. Look at me. Touch me. Feel me. I'm still me. The person standing in front of me is just a bold-faced liar. One that hurt me just so much. I may cry a river of tears, but you will never lie to me. Ever again. Goodbye. <laughs> but why? You look like you need a shoulder to lean on. What a pity that no one is here to help you. Let go of me! I'm not going anywhere with you guys! Shut up! You don't know what can happen to you, okay? Have you guys gone crazy? I know who you are. You belong to Jose Antonio! To Gregory's family, you're part of the Aragon! And you know we're not playing games here. 
What is this? Some scam of Gregory's for you to kidnap me? Yeah, it's Gregory's scam. And if you don't get in the car right now, we could do something worse to you. So get in. Don't tell her anything. She has to do what she's told, and that's it. What are you going to do? Kill me right here in broad daylight and at a university where there are security cameras? Go on, kill me. I really like that. Yeah, two bullets right here. But what we're going to do to you is going to cause your dad a lot of pain. And that's what we're interested in. Now get in. What, that Warner guy sent you this? I thought the only thing he had sent up to now were funeral wreaths. It's true. But he got creative. And he sent me this picture along with a sympathy card. But what is it with this stupid picture? It's more important than the accusation Patricia's gonna make against me. This little girl is Camilla. Dad. I'll be back. It can't be. In this case, the Rosa Blanco I'm looking for, and that Camilla is looking for, is the mourner? Or all of this could be a scam, Ezekiel. Think about it. There are just too many coincidences. This woman shows up here, earns your approval. She's also looking for Rosa Blanco, and now it turns out that she's the little girl in the picture? If you think something's off, Ezekiel, you're probably right. Show me your picture. What? What's that picture you have there? What? This picture is the one they took of you when you were a kid. And this picture is the one the mourner sent to my father. With a sympathy card. It's not the same picture, but it's you. But that's me, of course. It's me, Max. Look at me. Look. It's the same house, the same dress, the same day. The difference is that it was taken from somewhere else, a different angle, but it's me. Just look. What is this? Okay, so what does this uh, coincidence mean? That you're connected to the mourner? This is absolutely ridiculous and bizarre. We're going to ask your father. He's the one who's gotten all mixed up with this mourner guy, okay? Hm. That woman came into our life one day out of the blue. She arrived at this company the same day they gave you the wreath, that last funeral wreath. And since that day, your children have been assaulted and they flooded your warehouses. You're right, Octavia. This is getting strange. And it's like you said, we need to think like they do. We're going to take the bull by the horns. First thing I'll do, is called Ronald to issue a warrant for the arrest of the Rosa Blanco that deceived Camilla. But why? What for? What does that woman have to do with this? She's not the one you're looking for. Yeah. But if we put her in jail again, she will... she'll stay put, and I can rule her out as a suspect. Besides, she stole the money that I gave to Camilla. And that's just like stealing it from me. Are you sure you're making that call to rule out Rosa Blanco as a suspect? Or to redeem yourself with Camilla after what you did to her in the restaurant? Julia, you've been with that guy for way too long. Tell me where you are and I'll pick you up, please. Where's my sister? We were talking, but I don't know where she was. You're an Aragon. I don't believe anything you say. What did you do to my sister? We fought. I wanted to tell her that it was a mistake, a misunderstanding, that I still love her. She started to cry and left. <sighs> you met her to make her feel bad and to infuriate my dad. <sighs> You're a rat. You love her, but you make her cry. How does that work? Why don't you call her cell phone? Look, kid, <laughs> Julia isn't answering her cell phone. She's turned it off. Listen, if I have to beat it out of you, you're going to tell me where she is. Fighting won't get us anywhere, Leandro. I don't know. Maybe your sister just wants to be left alone. You know her better than I do. Yeah, yeah, I know her. And I love her very much. I'll tell you something. If anything happens to her, I'll make you regret it. Stop asking questions, I'm getting fed up. 
Well, what do you expect me to do? Let you kidnap me just like that? I want to know why you are doing this to me, no! You're going to fix a problem that your family made for mine, okay? Does any of this have to do with the beating my dad gave to Gregory? Are you going to do that to me? Just being a Lopez Mendez should be enough. You're the daughter of a miserable murderer. No, no, no. My dad may be short-tempered and very impulsive. And at times done questionable things, but I assure you he hasn't killed anyone. Ezekiel Lopez Mendez killed my father! Ignore it, brother. Let her defend that miserable, no-good bastard. Ignore it. I'm sure your dad never told you that he left us orphans. But the pain that he caused us, he's going to pay crying for his daughter. I've been waiting for you for seven years, dreaming of you returning, Sebastian. Did you really think that just like that, you and I could just be friends? Well, yes, Amelia. I, I thought we cleared up that misunderstanding, or at least I thought we did. In fact, we have plans to end the fighting between our families. No, your plan is nowhere near the same as my plan. Your plan is to continue being a priest and take pity on me whenever I see you. And my plan is to cry in silence because I can't have you. Uh, but now, now, it's over. I have my pride. Forgive me, Amelia. I really don't want to hurt you. You are one of the most important people in my life. Liar. You're selfish and you always have been. Anyway, you and I are finished, Sebastian. From this moment on, I want you out of my life. All set. Ronald will take care of everything. Uh-huh. Here I am, and this is what's going on, mister. I have this picture of when I was little, when I was just a girl. I remember everything. The afternoon, the house, the yard, the little chair. And this is the only clue I have to my past. And I remember exactly how that little yellow dress made me itch and no, I- Calm down. Camilla, we all feel the same. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This other man came later and he told me that that guy Mourner sent you that other picture that's also of me. From a different angle, another pose, or whatever. So the question is, how in the world did you get that picture and why? I don't know. You tell me. Didn't you just tell us that you're the same girl in both pictures? Is it possible that she has something to do with the Mourner? No, come on. That's crazy. Octavia, Camilla has nothing to do with the Mourner. Dad received those wreaths a long time ago. Camilla hadn't even dreamed of coming here then. This so is what absurd. does the girl in the picture have to do with all of this? Yeah. Except so what's what? Whoa, 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 oh whoa. Stop yeah. making such a fuss. You, my firecracker, calm down. And you, Octavia, shut up so you don't say something stupid. First of all, I have good news. I just spoke to a judge friend of mine, and he's going to issue a warrant to arrest the woman who deceived you and who stole from me. Against my mother? I mean, this Rosa Blanco? Yes, yes, yes. Soon she will be in jail again, because she's on parole and has to appear. So as far as that goes, my firecracker, you can feel relieved, because justice has been served. Let's get out of here and clear up this picture thing. Thanks. And yes, let's get back to the picture, because this is starting to drive me crazy. We've already told you everything we know about the picture, and that the mourner sent it over together with a sympathy card and nothing written on it. If the mourner sent the picture, could Fausto have received one too? So this is the little lady who had my youngest son beat so violently? Oh, Gregory doesn't have such bad taste, does he? Pretty, huh? No one would guess she's the daughter of that trash Ezekiel. Looks can be deceiving, Uncle. She's a spoiled brat. This hatred between you and my father is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Mm. And if you are going to beat me as payback for what they did to your son, do it. No, I'm not surprised, you know. That arrogance. Knowing who conceived you. Be aware. That here, only I talk. If you want, we can shut her up, Uncle. No, I don't think so. No. Right, little lady? No? You see, 
how your father drags me into these situations. But what I need is for Ezekiel to understand not to mess with my people. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy what we're going to do, but it's what we will have to do so that Ezekiel learns his lesson. What do you mean? What are you going to do to me? We could give you some kind of beating just like your father gave to my son. Or I could give you to my nephews so they could get revenge on your father for killing theirs. Whatever you're going to do to me, do it right now. We could just kill you right here, right now. Just give us the word, uncle. No, no, no. I know that Ezekiel will get my message through you, young lady, because I am sure that you are his darling little princess. Ezekiel shouldn't know anything yet, Uncle. Oh, he'll know. He'll know. He'll know because he is going to feel how vulnerable he is when facing an attack by the Aragons. Because I don't want the Lopez Mendes to mess with my family again. You are a psychopath! You almost killed my brother Javier by shooting at him on the street! And sent Leandro to the hospital by beating him! You are the ones that provoked my father time after time looking for a fight! Do me a favor and shut up. Because you don't know it. But it was your father who was the first to instigate a fight. It's just that you weren't born yet. So calm down, you crybaby, you snotty, spoiled brat. Slap her a few times, Uncle. So she learns some more respect. She's so condescending. You know, I could. But I'm not like her father, Ezekiel. He could do what you're thinking that I could do to her. But the Aragon family wouldn't even use something as gentle as a rose petal to hurt a woman. Javier, have you seen Julia? Do you know any news about her? No. Didn't you go with her to school? Why isn't she with you? Oh, I lost her. I, I lost her. I lost her. I don't understand. She told me that she was going to talk to that guy, to Gregory, and, and I didn't see her after that. I searched the entire campus and nobody's seen her. But why did you let her go see him if our father sent you to prevent this, Leandro? Do you think she would have escaped from him? Dad is gonna kill you for not doing what you were told. Wait, I don't understand. I don't know how it happened. I don't understand how she, she, she was there with me. And I ran into Gregory later, and I asked if he had seen her. He said he had, but then he said he hadn't. And then I, he isn't with her now. I don't understand anything. And you believe that guy? I don't trust those people. I'm sure those Aragons took Julia, and who knows what they may be doing to her. Brother, please, don't tell father, okay? We'll try to work this out ourselves, no worries. Don't tell on me, I'm begging you. Please. What's wrong, Mom? What is it? I just came from talking to Ezekiel and I put him in his place. I just can't take it anymore, Gregory. I'm not going to tolerate him laying a single finger on any of my children ever again. Mom, why did you do that? Well, because you can work things out by talking. Not with threats, fights, or deaths. In fact, I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to report the Lopez no, no, Mendes. No, 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 Mom, please come on. You're going to go home. And you don't need to let my father see you like this. And don't let the police see you like this either. Gregory, where were you? I went to meet Julia at the school. <sighs> but after I saw her and she left, her brother Leandro asked me about her because she had disappeared. Stay away from that girl once and for all. Look at all the trouble she has caused. Don't complicate things any further. <sighs> Isn't your father's anger enough for you? What more do you want? For them to kill you? Huh? Is that what you want? Great, great. They've already told me all about the funeral wreaths sent every year, the threats, the gifts, and how he sent the picture. But who is the mourner and why does he do this? We know who he is, darling girl. The thing is, we haven't said anything to the police because we love toying with him. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Are you dumb, little girl? 
What kind of stupid question Please, is come that? come on, Octavia. Your insults are unnecessary. Look, what little we know about the mourner. That girl has no reason to know Ezekiel. We have no idea what her real intentions are for this company. First you call me dumb and stupid, and now you're insinuating I hey, that I have devious hey, plans for the company? Camilla, What's with you? Down. Octavia is right this time. All the information we have about the mourner stays with us. What stupidity is that, Dad, huh? Could it be that this guy, the mourner, has to do with my real mother, right? And you guys are trying to keep it from me. That is pure conjecture, my dear Firecracker. Like many we've had before. In fact, we are not really sure of anything. Yes. It's a surprise that you turned out to be the girl in that picture. And it's the only thing that proves or shows us that somehow, and we don't know how, that you are related to the mourner. Or simply they're uh, using Camilla's picture to confuse us more. Let's go, Camilla. Mom? Are you okay? Yes, of course. Hmm. Mom, you can't continue drinking like this. Come on. Look at you. <sighs> Amelia, I only had a couple of drinks before I came over. Mother, please drink. This coffee is strong. Oh, don't exaggerate. Mother went to talk to Ezekiel about the beating he gave me, and now she wants to call the police. Yeah. Captain Torrealba is outside waiting for Dad. Because he wants to talk to him. Did you call him, Mom? Yes, Amelia. Tell him what's happening. Tell him I need to talk to him. Are you sure about this, Mom? We said we were going to talk to the police, but confidentially. I don't know. Doing it here is a little bit... Enough. Call him. I need to talk to him. I'm going to tell him everything I know. And I don't care what your father says or what he does. Now go get him. Tell me how you're going to punish me. Or let me go now, please, Vasto. Don't get smart with me. You've made a serious mistake getting so involved with one of my sons. And I'm certain that your father put you up to it. Gregory lied to me. He pretended to be someone else, and that's why my father beat him up. I don't know why my son would do such a thing. What do you mean by saying that? Uncle, what are we going to do with her? We're going to leave her here for a while, until Ezekiel is begging us to bring her back in one piece. And not do anything to her, Uncle? You don't know my father. You were not even born yet when I started hating Ezekiel because of his viciousness. <laughs> when he finds out that we have laid our hands upon you, the apple of his eye, he'll go crazy imagining what we're going to do to you. And I thank God that I am not like Ezekiel, getting his revenge going after my family. I am going straight for his head. I've heard my godmother Elda and a bunch of other people talk about this guy, the mourner, but I don't know who he is and what is causing him so much pain. Why does he have my picture? There is someone that calls himself the mourner. <laughs> and every year, he sends my father and Fausto funeral wreaths. Really? And things that are related to funerals. We don't know who it is or why he goes by that name. What, dead, Max? But who's dead here? What is this? My god, what? And why is this man just sending a picture of me when I was a little girl now, Max? What, what, what does this man have to do with me? What is this? I don't know. That's exactly what we have to find out. Uh, Max, Max, what if the person that is sending all these things is my mother thinking that I'm dead? Ah, uh, but why would she think that Ezekiel and Fausto have something to do with it? Max, what is this? Help me find her. Well, hey, who is the okay. mourner? How can we Calm find down. out? Calm down. Calm down, Camilla. Okay. We have to be patient. Okay. Hmm. Listen, we've gotten pretty far. We can't rush or, or be guessing anymore until we have more information. I'm... And what other information? Max, 
Max, I need to talk to you right now. It's really serious. Well, since this is more serious than breaking news, I'm gonna go look into my problem, which is also serious. I'm going over to my godmother Elda's house to see if she knows anything about this picture or remembers something, okay? We'll talk later, Max. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. What is it, Leandro? It's about Julia, Max. She's missing. I, 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 I don't understand. I, I'm calling her mobile and she's not answering. It seems to be turned off. I, I, think that, I think that the Aragon family took her. Whoa, slow down. I don't understand. When was the last time she was seen? What happened? Why are you so upset? Because Calm I was down. with her. I went with her to campus, Max. I went with her so she could meet her boyfriend of hers, the youngest son of, 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 of Fausto Aragon. She asked for a moment, for a moment alone with him, and I let her. And since then, I have no idea what happened to her. Okay, let's stay relaxed. Have you talked to Dad? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, I hope not. Because if Dad finds out that Julia is missing, he's capable of killing you. Let's see how I can resolve this. Stay here and calm down. What's the matter, Javier? Why did you call me like that? Because this time it is serious, brother. Julia has disappeared. What do you mean she's disappeared? Wasn't she on campus with, with me? You? Yes. Yes, Sebastian. We were together at school, and she asked me if she could talk to Gregory alone, and afterwards I couldn't find her. Oh my god. And Gregory? Leandro told me that he confronted him, even threatened him. But even Gregory says he doesn't know anything. He confirmed that they saw each other, but that Julia left alone. I have to call Amelia. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing her since I got back from Spain. But I haven't told anybody because I don't want to drive my father crazy. For how much longer do we have to keep running our lives so that we don't upset our father? That's why Julia disappeared. So she wouldn't upset father. She's afraid of going against his wishes. How long? Max, wait, calm down. Look, the most important thing right now is to find Julia. Ezequiel Lopez Mendez humiliated my son. He hit him. And he beat him because, well, he and his young daughter are in love. <sighs> now go on, Gregory. Show the captain your back. Show him how they beat you. Yeah, in fact, there's nothing new to talk about. The Lopez Mendez lash out at us and we lash at them. It's a stupid feud between my father and Ezekiel from a long time ago. What is it? Since your mother and I started talking, you haven't stopped looking at your phone. Is there something wrong? Julia's disappeared. Since I saw her at the university, I haven't heard from her, and now her telephone is turned off. I don't know. I think my dad or my cousins have something to do with this. Gregory, you think that your father kidnapped that girl? Can you think of any place where Julia might be? I mean, in case your family is responsible for her disappearance? A place? This entire city could be the perfect place to hide her, to torture her, to kill her. No. No, I've... I don't have any idea where she could be. Get her out of here and drive her around the city and leave her in a dump somewhere. <laughs> be still! Be still! Without touching her uncle? It's true that she's a Lopez Mendez. But before this feud is our honor and our dignity. And we are not going to behave like that lowlife Ezekiel. Understood? Yeah, 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 I understand. It's just that Marcus is a little tense, but don't worry, I'll take care of it. As soon as you let me go, I'm reporting you to the police. I'll call them and tell them everything you've done to me. <laughs> you think we're stupid? My nephews? are going to leave you in the middle of nowhere. No telephone, no money, no identification. No, we won't kill you, but you won't be able to survive. Take her away. Let go of me. My what? father's gonna make you what? pay, I swear. Shut up. Let go. Shut up. I beat you this time, Ezekiel. Ha. I'd love to see your face when you discover that I had your daughter as my personal guest for a while. So, Godmother, so then like I was saying, both Fausto and Ezekiel have a picture that isn't the picture I told you about that I showed you, okay, the one that belonged okay, to Sister okay, Isabel. Sweetheart, you're talking so fast that I don't understand what you're saying. Ezekiel has a picture of the mourner? No, 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 Godmother, I wish. Mm. 
Look, do you remember that picture of me in that little yellow dress, the one that Sister Isabel had? Oh, yes, of course. Well, the mourner sent one exactly like it, but a little different. So that snake knows who I am. The person who is sending these messages has to be very close to us. These are clearly threats against Fausto and Ezekiel. Mm. What I don't understand is what this has to do with you. Me either, even less. I put this puzzle together in my head like 20 times and I can't figure it out. I'm completely lost. Well, what worries me is, is that this mourner, I don't know, it seems to me that he knows us. He's this close to us and he's stalking us and we're defenseless. What if he attacks us? Oh, God, Mother, please don't exaggerate. It's not like he's an animal that's gonna hurt us. Uh, yeah, I get that this guy definitely has very sick jokes. Very but sick from there to him doing something to us, I don't think so. I'm going to tell you something just between us. Uh -huh. In my opinion, this mourner is my mother. Yeah, or if not, it's my Aunt Elizabeth. Or my father. But it has to be some family member that thinks I'm already dead. I mean, because otherwise, why would they be sending pictures of me and sympathy cards? Right, 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 of course. Huh? Hello, Father, good afternoon. How uh, are you? Hello. <laughs> I would like to speak to Mother Isabel. Is she here? Ah, uh, heavens, Octavia, look. Mother Isabel left a while ago. But is there something I can help you with? Well, the thing is, I need to speak to her, and it's very important, Father. I'm not sure telling you would be such a good idea. Look, my dear, when something's troubling you as clearly as this appears to be, the best thing to do is to tell someone. Sit down and tell me. Let's see if I can't help you, my dear. Well, Father, what's happening is that we all just realized that Rosa Blanco might be the mourner, Rosa Blanco Camilla's mother, because the only thing that her mother sent her was a picture very similar to the one she gave Mother Isabel. But, but that's not possible. Two pictures of the same moment, but if it really were her, why would Rosa Blanco call herself the mourner? I don't know. I don't know, Father. That's exactly why we need to know. That's why I need to speak with Mother Isabel, to see if she knows anything about the picture or the whereabouts of that woman. I don't have a meeting scheduled with you. Uh, I called Captain Torielba to file a report on what that family did to Gregory. Hmm. Well, if you did it without telling me, I imagine that he's ready to leave. Or did you want to offer him a drink? First, I would like to understand something, Mr. Aragon. Your son Gregory tells me that Julia Lopez Mendez happened to have just disappeared, and that you or your nephews may know something about it. Is that true? Of course it's not. What's the matter with you? How dare you come and ask me such a thing? Do you have evidence? Carmen? I don't have any meetings scheduled today. Who is looking for me? What do you want? Our Julia. We know that you are hiding her. Tell us where she is. You've got to calm down, Leandro. You know it's not good for you to get worked up. You'll see everything will work out. How are you here? What is it, my son? No, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong, Father. Uh, nothing. You know, work, stress, pr pr pressure, just regular stuff, Dad. Nothing strange. No, but this stress worries me. Look at him, he's trembling. He looks like he's scared. Son, you wouldn't be keeping something from me, would you? Father, I, I didn't mean to. I swear to God, I, did, I didn't mean to. Julia was with me. And the next second, she suddenly disappeared. I looked for her everywhere at school, and I couldn't find her. And now we don't know where Julia is. Julia, Julia can't be found, Father. <laughs> Javier, Javier, get Santiago. 
Get my men together and tell them to find Julia wherever she is. Wherever she is, they'll find her. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Look, Leandro. Look at me. I don't know if you believe in God or believe in some other saint. But if you don't, now is a good time for you to start. For one thing, you better pray hard. Pray with all your might so that my daughter appears with every eyelash intact. Because if something happens to Julia, that's the day I will have one less son. bring me here. This isn't what you were told to do. Uncle Fausto was way too nice to you, but we have prepared for you our own plans. What are you gonna do? Your father had no compassion for us when he murdered our father, so I won't have any for you right now. You are going to have problems if you kill me. Not only with my father, but with your own uncle. Marcus, Marcus, come here. Come here, listen, listen to me. Why, why don't we just do what uncle said and leave? I have a very clear purpose, Roger. I know that she's not to blame for anything, but if killing her will cause Ezekiel to suffer, then I don't care at all. Their family has to suffer just like our family suffered. You're out of your mind! If you're going to kill me, do it once and for all! I will! I'm aware of the consequences! I'm going to kill you. I'll kill you, but slowly. Come on, Roger. Move it! Okay, then let's make a deal! Please, get me out of here! Don't leave me in here! Okay, well, I should go. Yeah, because around this time of day, I start feeling bad. Oh, sweetheart, look, I'm sorry I can't be of more help. It's just that I haven't got the slightest idea of who this mourner is that sends things to Fosto and Ezekiel. Don't worry, Camilla. If we find out anything, we'll let you know. Mm, yeah, of course. So just like the file on Rosa Blanco, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'll bet that a little somebody I know that I can't stand is who told Sister Isabel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Ooh. right. All right, well, I'm off. Blessings. God bless you, sweetheart. God bless my child. Take care. Take care of yourself. At last, that savage finally left. Why do you insist on meeting with people like this garbage in the living room? Can't you meet with her somewhere else? Like the kitchen? I mean... Astrid, that young woman that just walked out the door is going through a very difficult time. She's mm -hmm. looking for her mother, and now it seems oh, that really? she can't. Oh, no, it can't be. And does it look like I would really care what happens to that pathetic creature and her problems? The only thing I want is for that idiot to leave Max in peace. Because with their sob story, oh, poor thing, I can't find my mother. That stupid woman is replacing me. Deny that ridiculous story that your cousins and I have something to do with the disappearance of that daughter of Ezekiel. I'm sorry that I spoke against you, Father, but it's the truth. And I suspect you. What the devil is wrong Let's with you, Gregory? Calm down this instant. I've heard enough, Mr. Aragon. If you're holding Miss Lopez Mendez, give the order to let her go, and this won't go any further. But if you hold her for the next 72 hours, I will incarcerate you for kidnapping. I have nothing to do with the misfortunes of the Lopez Mendez family. And before you put me in jail, I'll have your badge and you'll be sent to the worst prison in the entire country. Do me a favor and get out of my office! Well, well, my child. Well, thank you. Come whenever you want to. Mother, how fortunate that you arrived just as I was leaving. Yes, Octavia came here to tell us that Camilla has two pictures of when she was a child. Not one, but two. The second picture she got recently because the mourner sent it to Ezekiel. In other words, she knows she's the daughter of the mourner ah. and that she has something to do with him. Hello? Where are you? Oh. I need to get out of here. I need something to escape. Help me! Somebody help me! I've been kidnapped! Don't yell! No one's going to hear you! 
Let me out of here, please. I never did anything to your family. Don't let this war turn you into a murderer. I promise you that I won't tell my father anything. Please let me go. I'm not afraid of Ezekiel. <gasps> and you don't respect your uncle's orders either? Uh, call him! Call him and tell him what you're doing to me! Call him and tell him you are kidnapping me! You're a coward! You're going to record a message for your father. We're going to get a lot of money out of him before killing you. If you're gonna kill me then, I'm not gonna do anything you ask from me. I'm not negotiating anything with you. You're gonna say that we kidnapped you and that we'll call to give him instruction. Let's go! Start talking! I can't be sure, Sebastian. I have the same suspicion as Gregory, and the same as both of you, too. But with no proof, it's very difficult to find out where she is or who is holding I her. I don't suspect. I know that it was your father. I'm not sure why it doesn't surprise me to find Ezekiel's children here. We're not in the mood for irony, Captain. And I'm not here to waste my time. I imagine that you're here about Julia's disappearance. Was it your father, Miss Aragon? Was he the one who took Julia Lopez Mendez? Can you tell me why you came to my father's company to insinuate that my father is a criminal? Who do you think you are? And why are they here? To hold a sermon? We thought you came here to help us out, Captain. Max, we're gonna collaborate. When was the last time you saw Julia? Back at home. Then Leandro, our brother, accompanied Julia to the university, where she met with Gregory, Amelia's younger brother. Leandro asked him about Julia at the university, but he assured him that he didn't know anything about her after they spoke. Procedure requires that we have to wait 72 hours before acting as if this were a kidnapping. Exactly. You guys have 72 hours. We don't. I know who has my sister. I know that the situation between your families is a little tense after the beating they gave Gregory, and you think that Fausto wants to get even, but... I already told you. My father is no criminal. He isn't capable of hurting a woman. I have no proof of that. And I'm not interested in your theories, Captain. I know who has my sister, and I'm not going to sit here and do nothing. I know what you're thinking. Everyone in the company is talking. They're all anxious because they don't know how to help. My daughter, my daughter, Octavia, my daughter, my daughter. She's in the hands of those murderers. My hands are tied. I don't know where she is, or nor who I have to kill to this save her. This is all your fault, Ezekiel. With your character, your oppression. You were the one who started all of this horrible nightmare with the beating you gave Gregory. And because of your actions, you drove Julia to do this. And look where our daughter is now. Fausto has taken our daughter. Uh, yeah, Santiago and Celso are looking for us. Santiago and Celso. What do you mean, Santiago and Celso? You've got to call the police. I don't want to involve the police in any of this. Do you understand? I don't want them near when I go to annihilate the rest of the Aragon family. <gasps> Jesus, I have no idea where that picture came from, Father. I didn't even know that there were two pictures of her as a child, and now there are two of them out there. So that means Rosa Blanco is the mourner? Father, I don't want to be a part of gossip and rumors such as these. Both of us, just like until now, we don't know absolutely anything. And that woman that came here once simply never came here, period. Well, you're right, sister. We don't want to get involved. But if that woman is what they say she is, then Camilla's life is in danger. Father, and our lives as well. Nothing, Ezekiel. We couldn't find her anywhere. Tell me, did you check with Fausto? He has my daughter. Go and visit all the places he frequents the most. His beach houses, his city apartments, 
Any old building. Closed, empty businesses. Search each and every one of those places my princess could be in. And you, Octavia. Make sure that my orders are followed. Keep the media and the police away. I want this to stay within these four walls. Move it! You don't have any hair left to cut. I didn't come here for another haircut. I came to ask you out on a date. Hmm. I don't know if I can. Freddy, how's it going? <laughs> Look, I want to tell you, that little cutie you see over there with those big eyes is like my little sister. Yeah, my little sister. <laughs> yeah, I take care of her and I always will, just like our family's fine china. So don't get any ideas about taking her out. First, because she is not a loose girl. Sheila, I'm a very serious guy. I just want to ask her out on a date. Aww, and for what, huh? What are your intentions with her? Look, here I am to watch over her and take care of her little porcelain dish. With every step you take, you need to check with me first. Why did you call the police? Don't you realize that with those incompetence, things could get even more complicated? Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of Julia? Were you capable of kidnapping that girl? Yes, I only wanted to talk to her. I wanted to give the message to those Lopez Mendes not to mess with our family. I don't understand how you could stoop so low, Fausto. That girl has nothing to do with the feud that you have with Ezekiel. It doesn't matter how old she is, she's still a Lopez Mendes. And now, 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 stop the drama. I've already given instructions to my nephews for them to drive her around town a while and then leave her in a dump with no money or identification. What if Ezekiel were to do the same thing to Amelia? How would you feel? Or would you be able to justify that as well? To keep this awful feud going? <laughs> Where do you have my sister, Fausto? Excuse me, but Marcelina does not receive visitors that have not been announced first. Camilla Espino is here! Camilla Espino is here! Camilla Espino is here! Listen, caretaker, now she knows I'm here. What's all the fuss? What are you doing here? Look, lady, I came here because it's time to clarify things face to face. Where did you get the idea that I want to be with your son, much less for his money? I may not have money, but I do have some dignity. Look. Uh. What are those pictures? Huh? Sister Isabel gave me one of them, and the other was sent by the mourner to Mr. Ezekiel. May I see them, please? under one condition. If you know something about them, you have to tell me. Father, they've kidnapped me. It wasn't the Aragon family. These guys want a lot of money, or they'll kill me. I'll call you back to tell you how much and how to get it to them.